real pretty. Yeah, I don't trust this place. Greetings, Petitioner, if that is what you are. Step to the podium. A foreigner? This promises to be a colossal waste of time. It lives in our kingdom, does it not? I at least am interested in what it might have to say. Hail, stranger. I am Savon, speaker of the One True King's Council. State your nature and business for the record, please. Your nature, yes. What are you exactly? You're not one of the... Well, what do they call themselves? The Dran, are you? Then why, pray tell, should we waste our time with you? This is a Fey Council, and we have more imperative matters than to play guide to outsiders. Your friend is here. Now. Oh, how distressing. Perhaps we can help you find them. Perhaps not. Or have you forgotten the rather large problem yet undealt with starting with what lies beyond this very door? I had not forgotten, Onoril. But as we are at a standstill, I thought to turn our attention to something more refreshing for the time being. Sadly, our resources must be devoted to the troubles at hand, Nael. Petitioner. We will not help you at this time. Good day. You have wasted quite enough of our time, foreigner. The Fey have far more important concerns than you before us. Oniril speaks true, but a thought occurs to me. Perhaps this stranger could be of use to us. Our kingdom has been thrust into chaos, stranger. The one true king has been usurped by an imposter, aided by someone on this council, no less. But we know not whom. If you will accede, Fey law allows for an independent party to aid our investigation. Perhaps your eyes can bring clarity where our trust has failed. Do you accept? That is wise. You are under no commitment, unless and until you choose to make an accusation. That said, should you come across sufficient evidence, you are permitted, within certain conditions, to accuse one of those seated here. And this body will consider the accusation. A great tragedy, stranger. For eons, the Fey and this council have faithfully served the one true king. But alas, his rule has been curtailed. The imposter, Faelin or Faelrin or whatever they call themselves now, placed the king in an eternal slumber from which he cannot be woken. The king was attacked in his own chambers, behind this very door. The imposter could not have entered without aid from a member of this council. But, of course... We all have our alibis, as you can imagine. None of us were here. This has been proven. 
many times. If you can find any evidence tying one of us to this tragedy or to the imposter, then Fey justice might be done. It won't be enough, Savan. The imposter still sits upon the throne. Yet, it will be a step. And a necessary one toward restoring order among the Fey. It means you're not Fey, and your life is easily forfeited. Please, Oniril. Stranger, we will discuss the conditions of your accusation if and when you choose to make one. does nothing. Peace, Oneril. The law is clear on this point, as you well know. I will answer your question, stranger. With a traitor among us, trust has shattered. If any of us were to produce evidence at this stage, it would be suspect by all. And rightly so. Either of you would love any excuse to remove me from the Council. And you do not wish to hold half the Council's power yourself, Oneril? You cannot pretend it isn't true. Regardless, stranger, you are not from this world, either of these worlds. So any evidence you bring would be free from the suspicions which we have cast upon ourselves. Precisely my point. This foreigner may have any number of reasons for accusing any one of us. Which is why, if and when evidence is produced, we alone will pronounce the final judgment. And if that evidence has been falsified? Tainted? How do I know one of you has not paid this interloper to act on your behalf? Onoriel, only you assume that everyone is as unscrupulous as yourself. Not everyone seeks power at any cost. Very well. I will judge it when I see it. I trust no one, but I trust the two of you less than this foreigner. We now know that the imposter approached each one of us at some point. Whispering promises of freedom and power. Trying to poison our minds against the one true king. <sighs> he only said what we wanted to hear. Pity one of us listened. Can you blame them, though? The imposter called out important truths. Is that an admission of guilt, Niall? If you would allow me to finish. I was saying he called out important truths that we must take to heart despite the poison that obviously accompanied them. We would do well to address the flaws raised by the imposter. And I find it difficult to cast blame on any who thought there might be a smoother path towards doing so. And yet that path has led to ruin. We have merely exchanged one tyrant for another. Indeed. But our feelings on the outcome are irrelevant. This council must be absolved of guilt if we are ever to restore order to the Fey. Alas, we do not know. There is no blood, no wound that we can see. Not that we were able to investigate the scene fully. At your request, Onoriel. 
I cannot trust either of you backstabbers nor anyone you might call to serve us. Were those not your words? Uh, they were indeed, and the sentiment holds. Regardless, it is unknown even what could harm the king. For it is said that no mortal weapon can kill him. And many have tried. They are a monster. They care nothing for the welfare of the Fey. Nor those of us who serve the Fey. Nor for the law. On this we all agree. The Impostor's plan should never have been carried out. So it would seem. If this council is to have any efficacy at all, the traitor must be removed from our midst. This is the law. The king has ruled over the Fey as long as anyone can recall. He has always been a guiding force, both in our world and our lives. Some believed he was too much of a guiding force. Mm, more than some. Yet, look at us now. The king sleeps, and our world is spun into chaos. Indeed. It would seem his life is more entwined with our wealth than anyone knew. Imagine what would have happened if he had been killed. Of course! How could we have been so blind? The genius of this foreigner, who is so much more clever than all of the Fae together. Please, Onoril. Their question is academic curiosity. The simple answer, stranger, is magic of a kind more powerful than any here have yet seen. We suspect the impostor's conspiracy went even deeper than this council alone. All the more reason to identify the conspirator among us. As you will, stranger. Should you find evidence, though, bring it before us.
Here they come.
return. I trust you have purpose here. Tread carefully now, stranger. For Faelor is strict and swift, and you stand to accuse one of its highest ranking members. If you accuse one of us, you must have evidence, new evidence, to support your claim. The penalty for frivolous accusations against the Council is steep. It is death, foreigner, at least for you. Swift and immediate. Are you prepared to make an accusation according to our laws? Then speak. Who among us aided the imposter? See that you are ready, stranger. Faelor is not kind to those who abuse it. to waste more of our time are you prepared to make an accusation according to our law then speak of all on this council you would accuse me perhaps you misunderstand your task or the consequences of failure ah uh, ah uh, uh. Let's find out, Naya. Do you have proof, foreigner, of what I have already long suspected? Aha! I knew it! So what if I did it? You both know the king was a tyrant. He cared nothing for the Fae or our law. So you took the law into your own hands. We make the law, Onoriel. Even now, if you could only see past your pompous face, you could see that we have the opportunity to create a better world. With that imposter on the throne? Hardly. We do not make the law on our own, Nael. Nor guided by emotion. You have broken both Fey law and our trust. ...and must now face the consequences. Well... ...that's done with. I must say... ...I am already breathing easier. You are too quick to joy, Oniril. Nael was an excellent counselor. And an excellent roadblock to justice. Our path forward is clearer without her. Here, foreigner, a small thanks from the council. Now go, stranger. For there is much to be done, and you need have no part in it. <laughs> 